Okay, Steve Raish. For Unknown Legend, you want to play the riff with a decent amount of force, not too harshly, but with a strong volume, and then back off on the chords like this. So the riff is more prominent. on the track and see if you can just feel your way strumming through it and find that G and that C because they're a bit elusive but you know the song pretty well. And then for Vincent, you um, consistently forgot to use your middle finger so I give you a pinching exercise where you just, you always use a middle finger and you just pinch four beats on each chord. And it's going to be five and two, again five and two. Do that a bit, should wake your middle finger up, and then just pick a chord and just work on the pattern um, and get it to the point where you can just look away and see how consistent you can be. Especially with finger picking, try not to play too hard, too loudly, because it'll make all this tension you don't need. So ride each chord out like that for a few minutes, just practicing the pattern, looking away, looking at the strings if you start missing. Um, and then the exercise I gave you was the transitional exercise where you play a quarter note on the last beat and you play each one twice so it's very consistent like this. So you're just working from getting to one chord to the next while you finger pick. The other thing to remember is that we're using G2 consistently. Uh, you have a tendency just to go back to the, the basic G we're used to, but you really want your third finger on the root. And then when you're doing the little riff that starts the song, you can leave these down. So that's a fun little uh, transition to practice. I use my second finger. Are you were using your first? Nothing wrong with that. It might be best for you, but you can experiment. Um, okay, partner, that's it. Enjoy.